So thank you so much, Shelby. Would you be willing to perform one more poem for us? Oh, definitely. Black girl with narrow or wide hips, with nose wide like rubber band meadows stretching across face, and flat like squished gum on sidewalks they kill black bodies on you held your breath for too long. Forgot to wake up to smell the garden that lingers in your scent. Your fragrance cannot be bottled, branded, nor bought. Roses gossip on their vines. Compete with your beauty because you seem to bloom in bouquet better. They ask to grow from your seed so they can have roots as kinky and deep as yours, but you place your worth in hands who know not how to handle you, who prick themselves but blame your thorns for being there. They guilt you for being too strong. They guilt you for being too sharp, even in the workplace and in wit. They will treat you like shit. They will tell you to go screw yourself. They will tell you that you're unpretty and you will believe that you're unpretty. You will try to screw others to remind yourself of your worth that maybe is found in the womb of an orgasm. And as they play archeologists, they will try to dig into you and excavate your walls hoping they will find you. But instead they will find themselves because somehow you think spreading yourself will open up lines closer to the gods you worship and others. The God you think exists in bodies you lay within the grave of your bed. The skeletons in your closet are found underneath your skin. How you hold secrets in your sheets. You let them between your legs. You've mistaken the location for your heart for your vagina. The attention you're dying for is killing your self-esteem, Black girl. The skin as rich as soil. You've let them call you manure. You've forgotten that you got Harlem Renaissance for a mind and civil rights for fists. I saw Nina Simone playing on the piano keys of your teeth when you smiled the other day, but black girl, why have you neglected to write your poetry? Do you feel that you're not worth the words? Your name alone has improved English language. Challenge French to sound more romantic, for you have wooed Shakespeareans and twisted tongues to command better diction when speaking of your presence. Are you afraid at how beautiful you may sound that parallels the human gaze? Are you afraid that it could be accurate? Or are you afraid that you just can't see it with skin as dark as night, with soul as light as day? You hold an equinox in your eyes. You hold earthquake in your walk. Yet you flood your mind with thoughts that destroy your being. You beat yourself down before the police can. Afraid to bleach your skin, yet you bleach your confidence, black girl. Are you tired of just being black girl? When will you have strength to speak your name? Speak your name, speak your beautiful name. When will you realize that the love you've been looking for is only found within yourself?